What's up guys? Today I am going to be test writing a lavalier microphone that I bought. Now I've already used it already in the previous podcast but truthfully the reason why I bought it is because I wanted to be able to use it while writing. Onboard footage while I'm talking. I don't actually know how much content I'm going to turn out using that kind of setup but I figured it's better to have this microphone and need it than need it and not have it. So yeah, what I want to do today is take it for a test ride and I've been needing to ride my one of my favorite motorcycles, so not this one, not that one, but that one back there, which is my vintage Suzuki. So I figured I'll hit two birds with one stone, take that bad boy out for a ride and then test out the lavalier microphone, see how well it holds up on um, and blocking out wind noise. So first I got to move these two bikes out. Uh, for the record, these bikes are not mine. As I said in my previous vi video, this this is a these are bikes that two of my friends own that I am just storing for them. Oh, gotta unplug the charger. Right, so there she is. My 1966 Suzuki Hillbilly Trail 80 K15. It, it's like known by so many names. I just call it my K15. Uh, 80cc two-stroke trail bike. Uh, I'm gonna tell you my favorite part, my favorite things about this motorcycle, and some of the things that are kind of annoying to you. But um, it's a little dusty, so let's dust it off real quick. One of my favorite things about this bike is that it doesn't matter how long I let it sit. It kickstarts to life every time. Ah, there she is. I love how small this motorcycle is. And it just boggles my mind that I'm able to ride a motorcycle that's basically 50 years old at this point. You know, the one thing that surprised me about this motorcycle is I, I'm so used, I'm, I'm not a two-stroke expert by any means, but I'm so used to two-stroke bikes having an exhaust that has like a, the expansion chamber. And this one just looks like a, I don't know, you know, it looks like a regular uh, four-stroke pipe. But I'm, as far as I'm aware, this is the OEM exhaust. Now, the one thing I don't like about it is it's loud. Like it's really, really loud. and. I'm actually wondering if there's something wrong with the exhaust, but I'd love to be able to fix that and muffle this bike a little bit. But um, other than that, as far as I'm aware, the bike is bone stock. Previous owner that I bought it from did have it rewired to have these turn signals working. Um, I don't think the bike originally came with turn signals, but um, like I was saying, one of the things that I like about this bike is how it just starts up no matter how long I let it sit. Um, and the best part about it is I don't have to worry about the fuel. Now again, I'm not really a two-stroke expert, but I wonder if having a little bit of oil mixed into the fuel actually acts as a stabilizer because I've never had a problem letting this bike sit for months uh, and it just fires right up to life with the old fuel in there. So let's see if we could fire it up right now. A little bit of choke. Cycle through a little bit of fuel in there. Uh, she should start up. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear how loud that is, but pretty loud. Letting it warm up right now. Cool. Let's get geared up. Got my built well gringo helmet. So you know if you're gonna ride a vintage bike, you gotta look the part.
Okay, now comes the moment of truth. Hopefully you guys can hear me just fine, but more importantly, once we're moving on the bike, hopefully you're gonna hear me talk, despite the wind noise. I wish you guys can see how small this motorcycle is compared to me. This is a four speed. Neutral is all the way up top and then four clicks down to go through all four gears. It's also pretty high strung so you really got to rev it out in first gear to get going from a standstill but let's go for a quick spin see if the wind noise is muffled by the lava layer and if you can hear me talk while I'm moving. Let's go. So I'm kind of hoping that the wind noise is being muffled and you can hear me talk but we're gonna stop for a few seconds here and just check to see the audio level Okay, uh, I had to try a different location for the lavalier. I had it on the chin strap of my helmet. Uh, this time I moved it inside the helmet because the bike is really, really loud. So I'm kind of hoping that relocating it this time out um, helps soften the noise from the bike. But let's try. Once a month, I'm trying to take this bike out for his family around the neighborhood. Yeah, that didn't turn out as planned. Uh, like I said at the start of the video, I meant to make this video dual purpose. You know, the first part was to test out this lavalier mic that I bought uh, when riding. Um, I wanted to see how well it held up against wind noise and recording my voice. And I actually think for that purpose, the mic did very well. Um, I think I was getting 20 miles, 30 miles per hour in the first run. And um, even though I had mounted it on the chin strap of my helmet, I think it still did a very good job of muffling the wind noise. But then in the second run, or for the rest of the video, I decided to mount the microphone inside the helmet. And I did that because the bike is just so loud that um, I think you could hear you could hear the bike more than you could hear my voice. So I thought that maybe putting it inside the helmet would help further muffle the sound of the uh, motorcycle. But the problem with that is that the, the lavalier inside the helmet was so close to my mouth that even though I wasn't talking that loud, um, my voice was just uh, peaking too much. So couple that with the still loud motorcycle that you could hear through the microphone and um, the rest of the the audio and the footage of me narrating while I was riding just didn't work out. I just don't understand why this bike is so loud, right? Like it's an 80cc, 50 year old two stroke. The engine is like the biggest, as big as my fist and it makes a racket like no other bike I've ever had. I don't normally mind loud bikes, but when it's this loud, um, I actually get a little bit conscious and uh, I feel a little bit bad for my neighbors whenever I'm riding around the area, you know, once or twice a month, kind of keep the bike fresh. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't understand why it's so loud, to be honest with you. But yeah, like I said earlier, this, the purpose of this video was supposed to hit two birds with one stone, right? Like the first part was to test the lavalier mic. Uh, at least I think I, you know, I was able to check that off. So that's done and dusted. But the second part was for me to tell you guys about my vintage Suzuki and how it's become one of my favorite motorcycles I've ever owned. Uh, you know, I was going to tell you about 
the things that I like about it, the things that I don't like about it, and the story of how I got it uh, mixed in with me riding around town with it. But instead of that, this video, the second part of this video is going to be a plea to all of you vintage two-stroke owners. Are they supposed to be this loud? Like, I, I feel like they shouldn't be. I feel like maybe there's something off about my vintage bike. I'd like to do something, if possible, to, you know, muffle it a little bit. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's possible or what, what I can do to do just that. Uh, I have looked at eBay to look at, you know, aftermarket exhaust options, which is kind of strange because typically you go to, you go online to look for aftermarket exhaust to make your bike sound louder, not quiet it down. But um, I haven't really been able to find anything. Um, I've looked at the exhaust itself as far as like maybe putting a baffle in it, but the, the outlet diameter of the exhaust pipe is only like this big and there's a crossbar like right in the middle of it. So I'm not really quite sure what's available to me as far as putting a baffle on it. Um, but if any of you all have had experience to dealing with a bike like this and, and have come up with a solution, I, I'd be very interested in reading them. Hopefully it's something that I could do on my own. I mean, what is it? Maybe repacking the, the silencer or maybe, you know, finagling or making a baffle that works with it. Whatever idea you have, I'm open to it. I'd love to read them, share them in the comments, um, because I'd like to be able to quiet this bike a little bit, a little bit more. And who knows, maybe when I've finally done that, I can make a proper video as I originally intended. I'm actually starting to think that maybe I'm not very good at this vlogging thing. Like I'm always planning videos before I shoot them, but like the last two videos, they never turn out as I planned. So I don't know. <laughs>